Hi, this is episode 16 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev, and I'm the CTO of the DevCamp platform. Mondays have a tendency to be a little bit on the stressful side. So on Mondays, I like to cover a challenging development topic and give a dead simple explanation on how to understand it and how to work with it. So today I'm going to cover how HTTP works and especially how it relates to you as a developer when you're building out API and service-based applications. HTTP is an acronym that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's essentially the protocol that's used for connecting everything from users to servers throughout the web and anything that really requires use of the internet. Now, we could spend hours, days, months, and even years trying to understand all the intricacies of how HTTP works. I want to focus on giving you the tools you need to know as a developer as you build out applications. The first key term to know is the HTTP request. The HTTP request is simply whatever data that you're sending from the client, whether that's a web browser or an API to the server. If you've logged on to Google and made a search, you've already sent an HTTP request. As soon as you entered that search into Google, it was sent to the server. The server then has to take in that request and decide what to do with it, which leads us to the second key term, which is the response. The HTTP response is whatever the server sends back to the client, whether it be a mobile phone, a web browser, or an application connected to that API. For a basic workflow, when I search for cute puppies on Google, the term cute puppies is sent as the HTTP request. The Google servers take in the request and then send back a list of cute puppy links as the response. So the question is, how does that actually help you as a developer? Most of that's just common sense and it's things that you've been doing for as long as you've been using the internet. Well, the key is when you're building service-based applications, meaning applications that connect to an outside service like an API, the key things you need to know are sending requests and then receiving responses and then having your application take those responses and customize behavior and functionality in your app based off of what's sent back. Some development case studies would be in a mapping application, you'd send your API keys to Google along with the geo coordinates and be sent back a response containing mapping data so your users can see their location on an iPhone app. For a shopping application, you'd send billing information to the Stripe API and receive a response back that lets your app know if the payment was made successfully or not. Hopefully this gives you a high level understanding of how HTTP works and most importantly, how you can use it as a developer. In the show notes, I've placed links that'll help you get an even deeper understanding if you wanna take your knowledge to the next level.